Depeche Mode, just can't get enough. It's 88.5, the SoCal Sound. Welcome to our fall pledge drive. You can donate now to the, at the SoCalSound.org. We had some technical difficulties. Tim Heidecker, are you there? Yes. Friend. It's, Friend. It's not my fault. Did you do something in there? But I, I are you do, hitting buttons? I do think I spread technical difficulties wherever <laughs> I go. Well, you know what? You help support the station even more by being here because I just got a donation from Jacob in Minneapolis. Who says, I love Tim Heidecker. Aw, So thanks, look at Jacob. there. This is already working. I'd like to pledge $100 myself. Oh, I'll, I'll, we'll take it. Thank you so much, okay. Tim. Uh, right. So you, everyone knows you, of course, from the comedy duo Tim and Eric. Uh, I was just watching clips from when you were in Bridesmaids as well. You've been in some movies. <laughs> you, are, you do a comedy show. You also write music. Uh, what really got you into... Uh, so you're going to play a song that you actually got Kurt Vile to perform on. We're, Kurt Vile got to play with me. Let's just <laughs> oh, get I'm that so sorry. I'm so correct. sorry. Um, <laughs> we play Kurt Vile. I actually yeah. it was super fun. I got to chat with him uh, the last time he was in town. I really... It's interesting to think about you guys connecting because I know... Like his music is sort of like... It's not like it's comedy, but the way he writes is a yeah. certain way that really fits into, I think, what you do. So it's kind of neat. And I did see something that said you were a little nervous. You wrote this idea and you wanted to send it to him. Yeah. What were you, were you nervous? He was just going to say no. Or no, like... I think it was I was nervous because as I was I was writing this song, I was listening to a lot of his last record or the one before the last record, uh, whatever, whatever it is, because um, this was a couple years ago. But um you know, sometimes when I'm writing a song, I'll sort of put my mind, put my head into the head of another songwriter just to feel like, oh, what would it, how does he work? Like, what is some of his chord shapes and, and, and vocal phrasings and stuff? So as I was writing the song, I was kind of pretending to, not to parody him at all, just to kind of help me along. And I, I kind of was happy with it, but I didn't want him to think I was making fun of him, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I know Kurt. I mean, we're both from Philly, and um, he seems super laid back. Like he would be so easy to chat with. And yeah, and he was like uh, pretty uh, supportive of me musically. Like a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people that look at me in my musical pursuits with a little bit of uh, skepticism. But he was very supportive and and encouraging uh, throughout the years. So um, yeah, and then he happened to be in town, and I said, "You want to come over and just like." put a bunch of fuzzy guitar and sing with me. And, you know, it happened all very quickly. But you ask him to jam? You want to come over and jam, man? Yeah, he brought over this pedal <laughs> that's that that Lou Reed invented called, it's I forget what it's called, but it's it's it emulates the sound of an amp dying, oh as, as he describes it. <laughs> and so it's all over the record, and it sounds really cool. And, yeah, he, he, was, he gave, you know, he, him or I worked with Wise Blood a lot. It's like those people sort of add a little bit of legitimacy to what I, not not that I necessarily want that or need that, but. <laughs> no um, legitimacy at all. No. You don't need that. <laughs> uh, I do have your uh, vinyl here. So that's on the album High School, right? Yes, High School. Uh, here's, I'm holding up. If you're watching us, we are streaming this on our YouTube channel, which you can access easily by going to the SoCalSound.org. You can check out this performance live. Uh, why don't we get into it? You're going to yeah. play uh, Sirens of Titan. Yeah, I just want to say one thing, because as I was coming over here, I realized there's some lyrics in this song that feel like. I wrote it yesterday because of what's going on in the world. This record is really kind of about my high school years, which is 1991 to 94 or something like that. So what's upset, depressing is perhaps that there are themes in this song that you could uh, apply today. To yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want anyone to think that I'm making any kind of observations or judgments about what's happening in the world right now. But um, far, far be it from me to have an opinion. But... Uh, it's Tim Heidecker yeah. live on 88.5 The SoCal Sound. You can donate right now by going to thesoCalSound.org. Take it away, Tim. Sirens of tight, Venus and furs, Claudia Schiffer. My dad got me a water bed. Must have got a deal on her. Peter on Ned in a Baghdad hotel. Peter on Ned showing us Baghdad getting bombed to hell. Peter on Ned showing us scud missiles heading for Israel. Should be an easy wall to win, but you can never tell. 
I'm on my bed, sloshing around, listening to Sunday morning at Venus and Furs. Thinking about the bad news, thinking about the bad news. Thinking about the good grades I should have got and all the work I gotta do. At dinner tonight, I will try not to show any attitude. Sirens of Titan, Venus and Furs, Claudia Schiffer. I guess I was a little peer pressure. In the taping up a picture of her. Kurt Vonnegut coming to town, speaking at the university. I was a little shit, a little right wing. When he said he loved Clinton, I couldn't help but disagree. I was fiscally conservative until I got that college degree. Tim Heidecker live on 88.5 The SoCal Sound, Sirens of Titan. That's off of uh, Tim's album, High School. I love how you embodied Kurt Vile in that song, really. <laughs> A little bit. It's, uh, Respectfully, was... I hope. <laughs> oh, you were talking about being from Philly. How about the Phillies? Philly's crushing it. Very exciting. I immediately oh my dropped gosh. my Dodgers the second they lost. <laughs> well, I... you have to support the Phillies, right? Now that oh, yeah. uh, they were playing the Diamond, they're playing the Diamondbacks. Such exciting games. Uh, really cool to be from Philly. Uh, it's a Philly thing. Have you heard that uh, the song that came out recently? I forget. Um, but we'll go about. We'll go on. Uh, so anyway, the Hooters, maybe. No, uh, <laughs> it's a Philly thing. That was. Oh. Um, oh. The song's called It's a Philly Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll figure it out in a minute. But anyway, uh, so you you came down to the station. Uh, you wanted to support public radio. Tell us your feelings about public radio, because that's what we're doing, a pledge drive and asking people. Uh, we're member supported. Uh, you can support us now by going to the SoCalSound.org. But I just wanted to get your opinion on public radio and, and what this kind of stuff means to you. I know you yeah. you've got a, you do your own YouTube show. and Yeah. Uh, well, I was telling you one of the frustrating things, I do a, a weekly show called Off office hours on on YouTube and it's a podcast it's a TV show it's whatever but uh it, it you know it's very hard to, to just play music over the internet without it being a big deal and the copyright and copyright all that. laws and and you know getting and the system on the YouTube side is so uh automated to just strike down people and I I, I would I started actually in high school in um, in Pennsylvania um uh, going to Muhlenberg College's radio station and doing a show there. And and it was really the first time I got to speak and do a microphone where everybody anybody could hear me. And um, there's just something great about having people like you and, and other DJs who can curate and and turn people on to new music or remind them of... I was driving here and you were playing The Shins' new slang and that brought so many memories back to me. And... Um, and in this day and age, we can just put anything on any time of day and, you know, everything's available to you. Sometimes I find myself not wanting to have that choice, you know, and, yeah, just, too much. and <laughs> turning, turning that responsibility over to somebody like you uh, to just uh, let me not stress about what I want to listen to. And, and then finding new stuff and turning my turning me on to new artists and songs and stuff. So uh, I think it's vital. It's, it's such a great thing for the community and and to be able to support it directly without having to deal with advertisers and a bunch of crap like that, I think is, I hope that continues to be the way we can support uh, independent art. 
I really appreciate those words because really we're all so passionate about coming in here and having support from artists like you as well really means the world to us. I know taking time out to come perform these songs, uh, we really appreciate it. So thank you for coming here. You're welcome. Tim Heidecker. Uh, by the way, so uh, you're going to play a song off this album, Cold. I thought the funniest thing, or no, I'm sorry. Cold. It's called Coffee's Gone Cold. The oh, album yeah, the song is, is What the Broken Hearted yeah. Do. Yeah. Okay, the funniest review I thought was like, although it consists entirely of breakup songs, it says that you didn't actually go through a breakup during writing this. That's is true. Is that true? Yes. I mean, <laughs> I mean I've mean, i gone through breakup. breakups. I've, listen, yeah. I've, we've gone through breakups before. I think that was a little bit of clever PR that, I mean, this <laughs> this was a, uh, a conceptual album because I think we all, I love breakup records. I love sad songs. And so it was kind of a writing exercise for me to see if I could, how how sad I could go. Yeah, that's a good goal. You know, I um, mean, it's it's kind of wild writing anything like when you're in the depths of something, it seems like the best work comes out. Do you find that also as a comedian? Yeah, I mean, uh, we I thrive off of bad news. I thrive off of the the, the world going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's it's chaos out there. Sometimes it gets too much, but I think um, the subconscious uh, subconscious kind of processes all that, and usually comes out with something absurd or you know satirical um, out of, out of the bad stuff. And it's just, I mean, a healthy, at times a really healthy coping mechanism for all this stuff yes. in your personal life, but in the world is being able to write and release a lot of all this energy, but also comedy. I've always been, you know, you yeah. throw a little humor into a, a dark situation can sometimes help you get through. It's the shared human experience. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I don't want to hear how great you're doing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, Tell me a joke about how you bad your doing life great, is going. But it's not that interesting, you know. Uh, okay, so let's hear your song, Coffee's Gone Cold. Yes, again, I'm trying to write the saddest song ever. Um, and I haven't <laughs> never played this live, so forgive oh, cool. me. Oh, uh, uh, wow. But it's a, it's a simple World little career. country song. Tim Heidecker um, like live it. on the SoCal Sound. It goes something like this, right? It'd be kind of like the singer-songwriter session version. Coffee's gone cold, the fridge is gone empty. Not sure what I'm staying here for Living is hard, it sure ain't easy I don't know what I'm waking up for anymore well, She don't pick up her phone like she used to She don't write me back right away I'm kicking myself every time I think of her I don't know what I'm waking up for anyway Sun is shining Grass is green Everyone's laughing and happy And kissing and hugging And why can't it be me? Sun's going down Heartbreak, universal truth. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Coffee's Gone Cold. Tim Heidecker uh, is performing live on 88.5 of SoCal Sound. Uh, he has graciously come in here to support us during our pledge drive. You can donate now by going to the SoCalSound.org. By the way, it's a Philly thing. I, it's uh, the Bacon Brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have a big song. It's a Philly thing. So I thought that would be a big deal now that the Phillies are killing it in baseball, and I hope they make it to the World Series. Well, I'm so happy when actors and uh, people outside of the music world have success in music, you know, as a fellow 
yeah, yeah. person attempting to try that myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's funny. So how did you, uh, you ended up working, are, is it a longtime friend, Natalie from Wise Blood? You got, mm-hmm. so you're a comedian, but you also do music. You know, and- I look, I look at it like this. I make, I make stuff. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's music. Sometimes it's TV. I like to think now it's sort of like I'm trying to break out of the genre. A performing cla- you know. artist. Yeah. I'm a, uh, um, what's it called? There's a name for it. Uh, um, It'll magician? Magician? No, it's not a magician. Oh, okay. Polymath. Okay. <laughs> so uh, how was your... Sorry, is, to interrupt you. <laughs> Natalie from Wise Blood is an old friend of yours, or how did you get Natalie to work on the song Nothing, on your album Fear of Death? Yeah, I, uh, I had her on my podcast, and sort of spontaneously we started singing this song that I played her that I was writing. It wasn't this song. It was another song called Fear of Death. And a friend of hers, this guy Drew Erickson, who produces and works with Father John Misty and Angel Olson and all these great people, he and also Natalie, he was like, do you want to go in the studio and try to do that song with Natalie? And I said, sure. And a couple of days later, he had wrangled the, the Lemon Twigs and uh, <laughs> Stella Mazgawa and all these great people to come in and, and uh, like the wrecking crew of cool indie people. Um, to work on your album. To, yeah, and, yeah, and Natalie as well. And we we did three songs that I kind of put together over the weekend. And and then we're so happy and with, with what we got. We went in for another couple sessions and just, uh, yeah, it was really fun. It was a really fun time for, for her because uh, Titanic Rising had just come out and she was kind of, you know, taking a deserved break uh, and rethinking, you know, thinking about what she was going to do next. But this was kind of like a fun side project. Um but we put a lot of work and, and energy into it, and it was a lot of fun. And she's a, obviously like a incredible singer and songwriter, so it was a real pleasure and a real gift. Yeah, we've had her uh, come down and perform some songs for us as well. Uh, so awesome! Let's hear the song. Uh, it's nothing. Tim Heidecker yeah. live on eighty eight five with SoCal Sound. Sadly, missing <laughs> Lice Blood's voice is just <laughs> me. It's a sadder. It's much sadder this way, I think. But another sad song, but a little more existential here. Nothing, that's what it amounts to, they say A black boy waiting down the road for us one day We're all gonna die alone There ain't nobody gonna carry us home And there ain't no place where the angels roam Stuck in traffic on Beverly Glen Running late, meeting Hollywood friends And do they even know how it's all gonna end? I'm keeping quiet I'm keeping to myself Ain't it overwhelming, breathing in I'm keeping quiet I'm keeping to myself Nothing, that's what it amounts to, they say A black boy waiting down the road for us one day We're all gonna die alone There ain't nobody gonna carry us home And there ain't no place where the angels roam I'm shopping for a suit for the big premiere Nobody could tell me how I got here And I'm looking real good but I'm filled with fear I'm shaking hands cause I gotta play nice I'm on my third tequila and ice And I just said hello to the same guy twice I'm going underground I'm hiding out for a while amounts to they say a black boy waiting down the road for us one day but it's all right don't listen to me 
I could be wrong, let's wait and see But if you see me in heaven, just let me be Yeah, if you see me in heaven, just let me be really beautiful i love that song thank Nothing. you so much it is tim heidecker a comedian actor singer songwriter you're doing it all uh y- y- it's so great that you can come down i want to show people who are watching on our youtube stream uh there's a couple albums that he brought in some vinyl high school and also in glendale so do you live that's in that's where Angeles? i came from if you can believe it yes all the way across the other side of oh, glendale <laughs> glendale yeah. is that where you live now yes I do. oh wow that's great uh you have a show coming up uh november 4th uh you want to tell us uh you're gonna be playing with a band tell us what people can expect is it, so i'm a dynasty typewriter at the hayworth theater yes it's a great venue it's sort of like the um the largo of the east in los angeles here if you know the geography um, it's a small little theater. Um, I'm going to be singing some songs with Eliana Athade, who's the bass player and singer in, in my band, the very good band. Fred Armisen is going to be uh, coming out. Have fun. I'm going to do some stand up. I'm going to sing some yeah, tunes. Sing some tunes. Uh, um, great artist, um, uh, Casey jo- 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 Johansson. Do you know Casey Johansson? Casey Johansson. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. She's amazing. All right, she's going to be there too, November she's 4th. Be there, and, and I think it's sold out. Oh, <laughs> so, so you know. can't even go, everybody. That's great that it's sold out. There's only out. 14 seats in the place. Oh, so. of course. So they must have been, uh, you know, very high value tickets. Oh, yes. uh, we appreciate your words about public radio. And of course, for you coming down here, I mean, taking time out to play us some songs. Uh, we heard some really great songs. We heard Nothing, uh, Coffee's Gone Cold, Sirens of Titan. Uh, we really appreciate artists like you, uh, especially we love supporting artists that are living in our backyard and yeah. and really coming in here. You guys, this is what we do. We, we support artists. They support us back. And you can help support us now in our fall pledge drive by going to the socalsound.org. Uh, we really appreciate uh, you coming down, Tim. Thanks so much. Thank you. And have a great show.